welcome to my Chanel. So guys, today we're going to be talking about a lady, a makeup artist who got kicked out of a wedding. So, so this lady got kicked out of a wedding. She's a makeup artist. They gave her three hours to stay for the wedding for a retouch. You know, like the usual wedding retouch and everything. But this honey overstayed her welcome. She did a little bit too much hmm, and got kicked out of the damn wedding at the end. So we're gonna watch the whole thing with me because I also want to know the whole story and like it's a lot going on but that's the, 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 like, the gist of it. So let's check out the whole thing together. <laughs> she says come with me to get kicked out of a wedding I was booked to do hair and makeup for. You would think she's meaning I get kicked out from doing the hair and the makeup but <laughs> girl. Yeah. Oh damn, she got there 6, 7 a.m. Yeah. So the weekend was hell um, for her. Maybe around 3 or 4 o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's going to be for everybody. So I have um, I have three other stylists that are coming. And they are going to park ballet. What? Guys. Oh, what? What? Okay. This wedding was 9, 7, 24, whatever. And I found out my boyfriend was cheating on me, 9524. Okay. Okay. So the boyfriend was cheating on her days before the wedding was. So clearly she wasn't feeling good. Mm. Uh huh. I was trying. To, so she couldn't keep herself together. Mm hmm. I stuck it out, even cried, even cried while doing one bridesmaid's makeup from start to finish. From start to finish. That is so unprofessional. Why are you crying while doing the makeup of the people you're, that are paying you? What am I even saying? Why is she crying in front of the bridesmaids? Like, that is so, like, keep your personal life to yourself. And they stay professionally within the field. <laughs> mm? Yeah. At the end of the day, the bridal party looked beautiful. Uh, I'm tired. I don't want to be at work today. But, gotta get this schmen. <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> she had a broken horn. Mm. Also, she had a broken heart. Like she was feeling so bad. Her boyfriend broke up with her. Like, just can she? Could she not act it out instead of crying in front of a bridesmaid? Like you coming into a place where it's gonna be filled with so much love, people kissing each other, being happy with each other, and you, your man's just cheating on you. Your man's just cheating on you. Like, be so for real, girl. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey to the camera. Say hey to the camera. Hey to the camera. Set up and ready to go. Hey ladies. Oh y'all gotta try eye patches on. Okay. Head back a little bit more for me. Alright, and then turn to the right one more time for me. Okay, go ahead, turn towards me. Everybody, you know she is 10. <laughs> Yay, so cute. Mm -hmm. In our wedding agreement, in our wedding day agreement, we have the right to film content and use it for whatever we'd like. When you sign an agreement, you agree to content being filmed at the wedding unless you advise us in writing 60 days before your 60 days? That's a whole like two months and a half. How did she, how was the bride gonna know what you like what were you gonna what you were gonna film? Make it make sense, like be so for real, girl, be so for real. Like all you have to film as a makeup artist is the before and after and then you yeet out. You go. Guys, this lady did a whole like 
she did a whole like vlog from the beginning of the end Ella Strange's wedding they don't even know you like that I mean there's a video videographer and a photographer there for a reason why is you there I think she has cousins and friends who can film her if she wanted to but uh, mm. but I digress you can hear her don't Okay, you can take your hair down. That's one. All right, look at me. Smile. Turn all the way around. You like a little skin? You like a little skin? Say hey. Hello. Say hey, Geneva. <laughs> Where are you Well, now the bride had mentioned that the groom did not like. TikToks, but she said he should be fine with everyone and everyone would be a part of all the content Did, did that just pass through her head or what like did it pass through because all like look at you my husband does not like TikToks But everyone else is okay <laughs> You can feel the whole Zem sing Yeah, but you know, y'all don't even know. Yeah, if you smiling, you giving me more dolls. Okay, this is a bra. Yeah, you do not show me a ring. Ah! <laughs> do I do a little spin for me? Just do a little twirl all the way around. Yeah. Wait, she even mentioned that she was gonna hire a content creator for this for the wedding. She was gonna hire a content creator for the wedding, but. Not the makeup artist, so I don't know. Mm? I don't know. Steen. <laughs> so I made it. She's even like. So I made it. I, I. So she made a decision that she would stay for the entire wedding day and get content. With whose permission, though? Did she even ask the bride? Did the bride say that she wanted her to be the content creator in the situation or what exactly because I don't recall that I don't recall that No She didn't get any permission what she told So she just took it upon herself to be the content creator like get all Babes <laughs> Vibe a good time. Yes. Oh, you was outside. She's 21. Oh, we're going to play the sand. Oh, damn. I'm up in the house. <laughs> we're about to get this face and this hair right. Yes. <laughs> Why, ma'am, and I mean, <laughs> what? Went and grabbed some content of dresses and shoes. I was doing full makeup. And full on content, y'all. Who asked you to do the full on content, though? All you have to do is just do your makeup, just do your job and leave. Do your BTS, and then your like ending process, your ending products, whatever, and like go. <laughs> she even put the tired face, like, bruh. Uh, who asked you to do it? You're tired. Like, who asked you, though? Who asked you? The fact that she actually went and filmed like 
Ugh, she went to the, the, the dresses. Oh my god, and shoes. Dresses and shoes content. She's actually holding the shoes. <laughs> oh my god. The hair looks good though, I'm gonna lie. They're doing that job so well. Mm -hmm. You guys are calling each other cousins. Where? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Everyone kept telling me to stay for the wedding because it will be so much fun and I bring so much good energy. I told them I don't know when I'm going to leave, but we are booked to come to the venue. I also told them I'll continue to film content. Girl, they gave you three hours. From what I researched, they gave her three hours because she just needs to do retouching. It doesn't mean she was invited. She was not on an invitation list. I don't think they booked a chair for her. Like, <clears> hmm? <throat> like, <laughs> the girls were telling you to stay and you're actually like, yeah, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay and I'm gonna shoot content on top of that. No. Oh, these ladies killed it with the hair, though. Oh, this. Oh, okay. So they're filming. My fiance. That's the TikToks they're filming. And the husband does not like TikTok. So, babes, how? <laughs> She's about to be a wife. I'm gonna let it say. Did the okay? Her name is Kiana. Did Kiana, the bride, even ask to do that? My fiance and them thingy. <laughs> she wanted all the content from this wedding, guys. Everything. Really? Is that is that true? Everybody always say that, and I'm always like, do you know why? And they're like, no. I'm like, I'm telling you why. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it makes sense if it's like a small little raindrops. Now, if it's like a whole rainforest, yeah, I know. that's a whole other story. And I was in there moving furniture around to make space for all the girls. Kiana was telling her to come up because I was in the room. <laughs> she's calling this lady like she's her friend, like Kiana, like bestie. Yay. Oh my god. She's really making sure she got that all that content, hey? Girl, not them even drinking together. Okay, it's a little too long. Okay, there's the photographer. Uh -huh. I'm introducing myself to the photographer because I always introduce myself to everyone on a wedding day because that's what you do when you're raised in manners. Raised with manners. I send a personal email to my bride's vendors, introducing my team and providing open communication. Okay, okay. Connections. I told everyone I'll tag them and I invite them to collab in a post. But only the flower company accepted it. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
okay, so why are they vibing? Okay, so she told the bride everything she's gonna do, huh? Girl, she was so comfortable talking like she knows this girl like forever. Oh. Oh my god, yeah, but the mom did look pretty young, bro. The mom looks young. Okay, guys, so that was part one. We're about to get into part two. So, yeah. Get into part two, part one. She met the ladies, she met the bride, and then now... Yeah, she met the bride and, like, the bridesmaids, and she got a little too comfortable. She decided that she could take this filming video content creation upon herself because she wanted... Because the bride... Just said in passing that she wanted to content creator, and she decided that's gonna be me. That's gonna be me because who else gonna do it? Who else gonna do it? She didn't get permission or nothing. She just started doing it. And she's like, "You're gonna still lose my fiance thing, whatever." Um, I don't know if the bride has ever seen it because she like that damn video is pretty long. <laughs> There's a lot going on in it. But uh, damn, the fact that she actually filmed like the dresses and the shoes, like the comfortability is a little too much. Like, you, I think they have a videographer there for a reason. Yeah, I think that's what they do. But, okay guys, let's head on to part two. <laughs> the title, come with me to get kicked out of the wedding. I was about to trip me, oh my gosh. What time does, is this wedding starting? Like, damn. It seems like now they're running out of time, like, oh my god, girl, I think you would have been done earlier if you're not so focused on shooting the damn content. You would have been so, like, done on time, instead of now, like, rushing this thing, I mean, the bride, the bride needs to be there on time. Mm. The makeup is nice and natural though, I'm, I'm not nice. Very nice and natural. I feel great. Two thirty. What time is this wedding starting? Hyped up with us. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Wait. Even though I had to clean up and pack, I still arrived before the bride. God damn, lady. God damn. Talk about being excited to go to somebody else's wedding. Oh my gosh. Why is that old man working? God, he's too old for that. Yo, you and his tongue out. I'm like happy with your tongue out. Period. Pearls. Cute. 
Yeah, we've been having fun. I really feel like that evolved from the face. All right, turn around towards Minky. Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> Turn around again for me. Yes, turn Pinky here. Okay, now turn it to the right. Now turn around at me again. Oh. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> wow. She's really like getting all the angles. Like, she's all up there getting all the angles, the flowers, like. She's in the room. Your makeup artist is in the room while your dress is getting put on. Like, uh, it's not weird, but at the same time, it's like all you have to do is just retouch my makeup and my hair. If I like anything happens afterwards, you'd be like, okay, come in the room, like, fix my hair, my makeup. I feel like this part's much, or like my hair move a bit on the side, whatever. Like, but damn, goddamn. <laughs> Any struggles my bride had, your bride, my bride had, I was always ready to help. Oh, nos. The wedding is all hands on deck. Mm -hmm. okay. I think they have like a maid of honor for that or something. I don't know, but you know. I've sat in my boob pasties. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, Alright. This was funny, the photo of the needs to stand in my chair. Wow. We love our short king. Short kings. Short king. By this time we are about an hour over the time we were supposed to stay. And Geneva is here placing the veil. God damn! So you should have been out. You should have been out an hour ago. She should have been out an hour ago. She's just... Oh. I gotta get you. Babes. The mom is fit. Wow. Literally, like the photograph, like the photographer is there, the videographer is there. Why are you still here? She's already overstayed her welcome, like by an hour by now. Like, babes, <laughs> why are you still here? Oh. But I digress. Who's getting married? What you in the video? Wait, I've had my fair share of times being yelled at about me wanting to get content when I first started in the industry. Sir? <laughs> so she knows. She knows, but she still went on and did all of this. Babes, what? Something rot. So I just kindly asked, asked, so that we are all on the same page. Oh, girl. Mm -hmm. Every time, if, right now, everybody knows they're doing the Matthew and Sitik, okay? The girl on the back is the assistant planner. Eh? What'd she say? What? What? The girl on the back is the. Ooh. The girl on the back is the assistant planner that came up to me at the end of the night to tell me I was being kicked. Ooh! Clock that tea! <laughs> it's being clocked. Man, she looks mad annoyed already though. Oh, I don't know why she's mad annoyed. <laughs> oh, you filmed this lady being happy with you the first time and then later on she's like, get out. Girl, then leave. <sighs> oh, 
my god. She's really oh my god to do her first look. You know, people were trying to dis, uh, disrupt the trap, and I was being top flight security. Oh. <laughs> Bryce, they can show my Bryce first look photos were ruined by strangers. Oh my. Look at the stranger recording all of this co content. And she's making sure other strangers. Oh, what a street! What a sweet stranger she is. I just I. <sighs> when do strangers like this in our lives, guys? When do strangers like this? <laughs> you guys. Not her being like, you better not. Girl, we don't even know you. You just came to do our makeup. We just hired you to do our makeup and then leave. Why is you still like, why is you even like in our faces like that? And demanding us to not cry. Oh, girl. This <laughs> the audacity. Damn. Oh, the granny, she's like, what the, what's going on? Damn, she's the way she's speaking to that. The way she was talking to them, though, it's like, damn, sis. The bride looks so nice, though, it's a nice dress. Now this is the part What? Okay, we're gonna get back to that. Not then not her telling them that's enough. But this is the part where she is needed for the job. That's when she does her retouch and then she bounces out like that. They cried, do the retouch under there, whatever, fix it, and then you you can leave. Not her becoming besties with them like that. Why she's what? Oh my god. <laughs> this girl was driving this thing so fast. Oh my god. Oh my god. God. Is that her? Was that her making the? The fiance didn't like a TikToks, but here it is. Mm. Oh, bust it. Bust it down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, with the grimas on board, we're doing the. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh. The photos make sure everyone looks good it's and like catching this. Huh? Wait. I was helping with the photos, making sure everyone looks good. And catching things that the photographer and the, pho the photographer and videographer was missing to make sure they had pictures perfect perfect pictures. But who asked her though? 
who asked her for all of that? I don't think anybody went to her and like, were like, oh my god, please get these angles and all these angles. I think she has bridesmaids that can help her with that, or a maid of honor that can help her with that. Like, <clears throat> babes. Mmm, <laughs> guys, look. Did you clock the bride's reaction? That love sounded like, you know, mm, I'm mad annoyed now. And the reaction was like, oh, I just called this girl. Oh, oh my husband's socks. Got a quick bit of the groom, still not much conversation. I asked him to use his lighter. <laughs> Wait, I asked him to use his lighter and he was kind enough to allow me that. Okay. Give me GQ. Give me GQ. <laughs> okay, firstly, why is she filming like the husband like that? Gimme GQ, Jimmy, give me GQ like girl, you really giving the loot. Like thinking that you actually are the content creator, like it's so weird. And like, why is she filming the husband though? If it's not for the TikTok trend, why else are you filming the husband? Like, she didn't put powder in his face, did she? Though she didn't do his makeup or his hair. Uh, mm, weird. Look at the venue, so cute. The venue, so cute. Wait, I was vibing with the groomsmen and having so much fun. Why are you vibing with? Why? Why? Be with the ladies. Why is she with the men? They love they love me. Are you sure about that base? Do they or they're just being like kind to you? Just being like having common courtesy or whatever? Oh, they kept asking me to stay and said uh and said I was dope and good time. They talked to me the entire time. I was laughed. I laughed with them and hung out with them for a bit like <laughs> Oh, comfortability levels are high. High. Hey, mom. <laughs> yeah, I'm still working. Okay, good. But it wasn't that wow. misplacing the groom's lighter but he found it on the table I left it on in the same room we were in <laughs> hey! hey this chick is not serious the husband who does not like tiktok first of all you filmed him you you took videos of him you took also random videos of him making him do GQ poses he borrowed you his lighter out of like being the kindness of his heart and you misplaced that damn lighter? Why well, you shouldn't have been there already, first of all? You, you gonna piss me off. You're gonna piss me off. The husband is very strong for that, because like, he found the lighter. She just randomly just took this man's lighter and left it somewhere random. <sighs> he seemed like he had a little edit. Ooh, wait, let's read this one. Hmm. He seemed like he had a little attitude about it, but it's a lighter. Girl, it is not just a lighter. It is not just a lighter. There is so much more to it than just a lighter. I would have ran to my car to get him another one, if anything. <clears throat> he also found it so I figured it was over. Makes it worse that I'm the one who has to find something that I bored you. You should have brought it back. Why did you misplace something I gave you? I mm -hmm. Of course we have a low attitude about it. That makes no sense. Wow, she's really recording the whole thing. Are they Jewish? I gave the bride a touch up before her ceremony. She assured me I was good and I could stay and she loved my energy, okay? No. She stood on the aisle even before the bride could stand on the aisle. 
<laughs> you guys, you guys. Oh wow. Wait, I thought the ceremony went to the cocktail hour to eat and get a drink. I didn't talk to many people and I stopped recording because I was so tired. I was so tired, but I'm here. I forced myself to record. She didn't ask me to, but I just did. Babes, after I ate, I went into the bridal suite to get my brush. To get my brush bag and take it to the and take it to the car. The bride and groom were in there, so I quickly grabbed it and left out. That's weird. What the heck? <laughs> the bride and groom are in there. And you just forced yourself in there to go get your brush. You could have waited. You just legit could have waited a bit, you know? Alright guys, so that was part two. It's also quite long. Like, goddamn, babes. Like, ooh. Okay, now we're gonna get to part three, which I think this is the last part. This is the part where she's gonna be kicked out. And I, I think this is the part where she'll be kicked out. But yeah, let's get into part three. What's she saying here? When I came back into the venue, I went to get more food. More food. So you're not fully enough at someone else's wedding, you went to get more food. Okay, I went to get more food because I wasn't much... Because it wasn't much food at the cocktail hour. And it wasn't... Look, it's cocktail hour! It's, it's like finger food. What do you expect? <laughs> what do you expect? It was around 7.30 p.m. Damn. Damn. Whoa. Well, I was on my feet all day and all I had was a bagel. Oh, poor you. Poor you. You forced yourself to create content to record this lady's video. You were already tired. Your boyfriend cheated on you. You are already tired from like so long ago and you decided to just wake up and do this and now you're so... <laughs> Babes. Veins. <laughs> ah, it's not 7:50 p.m. and Melissa, the photographer, told me she was going into the reception area to get some footage of her. Mm -hmm, okay. Damn, she's all up in the bride's face like that, though. Not her recording the list of people <laughs> seating arrangements. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Wait, so she finished the TikTok. I finally see the bride and groom and finish and I haven't finished the fiance TikTok. We've been doing all day. Nobody cares about that right now. I think they wanna get the wedding done and do their first dance and eat the cake and throw the bouquet. I don't think anybody cares about that, that my fiance thing right now. Oh, I asked the bride if we can film another portion of the video. The venue is so pretty. <laughs> she immediately said no very aggressive god damn she was like uh-uh i thought i was joking i thought she was joking like i thought she was really joking when she said she's gonna stay the whole day but she actually stayed and i'm sure the husband told her about the whole lighter situation so goddamn girl can you not figure it out that people are pissed off now can you not figure it out damn Then he goes on to tell me, we're not doing any more TikToks. You're getting on my nerves, girl. <laughs> I would have been ran out. I was going to run out with tears after he says that to me. I am gone. I am gone with the wit. I don't know how she still managed to like... Ooh, he was annoyed. He was annoyed. I think... I think the whole lighter situation makes she like made the whole it was already bad because she overstayed her welcome but like she lost the whole men's lighter. She lost on your wedding day the husband wants to have like his smoke, whatever to take out his stress. Now he has to go and find that damn lighter that he had with him because you decided to put it wherever you wanted to put it. Babes. I was so confused because I didn't do anything to that man all that. Girl, you lost this lighter. What did you mean you didn't do anything? You lost this man's damn lighter. 
I barely said anything to him. You, you don't need to say anything. Your actions spoke so much for you. Your actions spoke a lot. It said everything. <laughs> the bride says to the bride then says to me, "Well, you're getting, <laughs> well, you're not getting on mine. He's just cranky. Don't mind him." After she said no, bride, what's going on? <laughs> what is going on? I immediately burst out in tears that I hadn't, I hadn't realized that I had been holding in and ignoring all my <laughs> sister. You so she went to cry to the bride. She went to cry to the bride about the situation on her wedding day. Some random makeup lady that you just hired because you saw how good her makeup is is coming crying to you about the situation like what is she supposed to do like it's my wedding day i'm about to have my first dance or something you're coming to cry to me what what must i do what must i do i've, I've contemplated giving up on weddings so many times because of the way i get treated in the industry from clients and vendors be so for real girl it's oh. only if you overdo this like taking the content creating thingy but i don't think they'll just randomly be on your like be mad at you for no reason there has to be a reason and this clearly is the reason Tell that's what she says be for real What does she mean nothing? She like <clears throat> you recorded the whole wedding from the start to finish. Well almost finished. But from the start you're even on the girls on the wife's aisle. Like <laughs> babes. You did a lot. Out of Oh my god. Shanice. You're talking too much, Shanice. I don't understand her. I do not understand her. Like, she is like, talking about how in this industry there's no space for her. Babes, just do your makeup and your hair and then bounce out. You should have been out. That is the only way. Like, what do you mean there's no space? That's what you do. Makeup and hair. Not your content creation. That's the place where you like, that is not your job. Do your job. Yeah, everything will be peaceful. Yeah, the before and after I content. Know, like, I don't know if God is telling me, like, that this is not the place for me. Oh, girl, she's being so dramatic. What? <laughs> I love just because. Wow. I don't want people to hate my presence. But what? Uh, What is she on about? What is she on about? People can take what? Girl, you were invited just to do makeup and hair and then you leave and you had three hours or four hours to stay and just do retouch and then you leave. But then she got way too comfortable. She was taking a lot of videos. She was in other people's faces. She was doing what the photo what the videographer was doing. She was just doing the most like She lost the husband's lighter. She was all up in her husband's face. She was chilling with the groomsmen. Why is she chilling with the groomsmen? Like, no, no. Be with the bridesmaids. Why should be with the groomsmen? Like, she should have been out. She should have been 
out a long time ago. <laughs> like, she say everybody's vibing, everybody's like laughing, kiki ha ha with her. But like, girl, read the room. I don't think people, I don't think everybody knows how to read the room. Like, she's wanting my life, my life, girl. You're a good hairstyle and makeup artist. Like, and ain't nobody gonna take that away from you unless there's somebody better than you that can do it. But, like, that is what you're good at. But the content creation part, not everybody wants you to do that at the wedding. There's, there can be someone else to do that. A family member can do that. No, it doesn't have to be you. It don't have to be you. Makeup, a makeup artist, like, I understand the bride. That's like a level of comfortability. Maybe I wouldn't like it, but like, okay, my God, why is she the one filming us? Like, I don't know if she understands that, but like, yeah, read the room. Sometimes people just pretend to be happy with you because they don't want to be like, seemingly like mean to you. But yeah, why is she talking about her bright is shining, her lights is shining bright and trying to dim her lights? Like, relax, babes. Relax, babes. Ain't nobody trying to dim your lights. You're just doing the, the utmost. You're just doing a little too much. Mm -hmm. Company is five star rated across the board. I have never in my life been removed from anywhere. Always been professional, and anybody that worked with me could tell you. But that wasn't professional. professional. She that wasn't professional. She even went to go cry to the bride and the bridesmaids about her cheating situation, or the, the boyfriend cheating, and everything. Like, no, that was no professional. Keep it professional. Keep it a buck. Let's not do that. There. What, what was the professionalism in that, babes? I'm never gonna let nobody make me wanna quit what I do. I'm gonna keep doing what I do for black women and I'm gonna keep going up in this wedding industry. And if you can't. Doing what I do for black women. Like the bride wasn't black. Oh? Oh? Did I get something wrong or what? My main thing is. She is like, oh my god, no, I'm so tired. I had a bad day, bad week or bad days, whatever. I am so tired. She forced herself to be in that situation where she's gonna be standing the whole day taking, making videos and everything. Like, damn, she was really like talking to those girls aggressively. Like, I understand maybe when you guys are doing your makeup and like you guys are vibing, yeah, it's, it's a vibe. But like, if you're a professional, you know like to get out. Like, this is not the place for you. You were supposed to stay there, do the makeup and the hair and then you go. Cause like it's just gonna be family and friends and a videographer and photographer. That is all. The bride wanted. She the bride thought of getting a content creator, but then she didn't. That didn't mean that you had to step in and be the content creator. She didn't ask you to do it. Maybe she wanted somebody that she knows or actual professional content creator to do it for her. She was doing a little too much. She overstayed her welcome. She stayed for too long. Like her comments. The fact for me, it's the fact that it's like. The husband didn't even get to know her that well. And she lost this man's lighter, you guys. She lost this man's lighter. Misplaced it, still, she lost it. And he had to be the one to find his own damn lighter that he borrowed her. Be for real. Let us be for real. I will be pissed off too. I'll be pissed off too. I'll, you, will be, you will get on my damn nerves. And then you bring this damn camera in my face. You bring your damn phone recording me in my face all the time after you did that, you done did all of that. The bride and the groom were tired. They didn't want to shoot their TikToks anymore. Understandable. Because like, damn. She did way too much. Like, babes. I don't know. I like guys. Uh, the secondhand embarrassment I got for her, it's too much. And then she's talking about, they're trying to dim my lights. They're trying to take my lights. I know what I'm good at. I don't know. First of all, she was crying in the car, in the car talking about if this is not the job that God wants her to do, she must what, whatever. Uh, she's never been disrespected like this before. She's never been kicked out. Blah, 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 blah. And the babes, uh, be for real. Let's be so for real. Like you know what you did. I'm sure she's she's seeing the whole internet talking about this today. She's like, God damn, did I actually? Was it actually that bad? It was bad, babes. It was bad. Yeah, she's lucky she didn't get kicked out a long time ago because other people would have kicked that girl out a long time. And be like, okay. You can leave. Um, <laughs> and apparently, she went back. And then that's when the assistant manager planner was like, girl, no, they're telling you to leave. They want you to go leave the wedding. You overstayed your welcome. And she would, and she apparently thought that she was really vibing with these people. And like, they don't even know you. You don't even know that you met them on that day. God damn, you met them on that day. They're just pretending. Because like, that's what we do with people we don't not know. 
well not basically pretend but like just be nice to them but it doesn't mean we're buddies buddies cousins she said we're not buddies buddies like that we just pretend we just we just like being good people you know anonymous vibes but i don't know she was not she uh, i don't know like people do not know how to read the room these days or what i don't oh the second embarrassment i have for this lady is a lot it's a, it's a lot it's a lot but yeah guys that is it for this video let me know what you guys thought if you guys seen this video before or not because like damn this is i have never been on wedding talk before but this had me on tiktok i stayed i was like oh, i want to know i'm listening to everybody's opinions i'm like true fact that's the same thing i was thinking but I never got to actually watch the whole damn thing and god damn, well I be damned. I would have then kicked her too. <laughs> but anyways guys, that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, peace, love, and everything nice. Bye.